Okay, uh, this video is going to be a bit of an exploration of an area that, um, let's just say it's a bit of a hoodlum hangout at times. It's also an area where there's been a lot of trashed trees from a storm earlier this year. And during the virus times, let's just say around the suburb, I've seen some very, very unusual things going on. I did a video about that and noted the things that I saw going on, but what I see is the repetition of the same things happening over and over and over and also some very new crazy fangled, although in my mind they're old fashioned, things going on as well. Very, very alarming and I think very much connected to what's going on around the world. I think this is not an isolated problem. There's a little bit of drizzly rain, but that's not going to stop me. It's an uh, area up here which is reclusive. It's got multiple ways in and out. It's sort of a fun area because you're sort of in the middle of the suburb and nobody can see you. So you can do whatever you want to. So it's going to be interesting to see what I find going on in here. One immediate observation I can make here, it's a fairly well-worn track. I can see there's been people here before. I can also see there's lots of timber which has fallen over. I'm going to see lots more of that, I bet. Yes, no matter where you look, uh, it's trashed around here. As I'm making this video, it's the 15th of May 2020. The children are going back to school for one day a week, although as a parent you can hold them back and completely homeschool them still, which has been going on for, it feels like, a couple of months now. Yes, homeschooling has been quite a challenge, like a challenge for that tree to send up during a storm. And if you're a failure at school like I was, going through the homeschooling, in particular my son's uh, I call it primary school homeschooling is giving me these savage flashbacks of how poor I was at maths at school Yes, um, having flashbacks of how poor you were at school isn't a nice feeling and I've just noticed something here I'm not sure whether that's man-made or animal-made. It's a hole in the ground Part of me is inquisitive about what's going to come out if I play with that hole in the ground And then again a part of me maybe doesn't want to know what's going to come out of there it's quite a large hole. I'll put my little finger dingies next to it. What makes a hole that size? Part of me is thinking that all of this whiter material has been pulled out of there and it's just all through here. Maybe I'm wrong there. Uh, maybe someone in my audience will know exactly what that hole is. Just near that miraculous hole and I am looking at everything that I see on the ground. There's something here. Hmm. What do you think that is? Quite a mysterious looking thing. I thought it might have been off an energy drink, as in a lid. But it's a little bit too elaborate in design, I think. I'll leave that in the unknown basket. Yes, it's um, been a very interesting time in history. Uh, I think a lot of people are stressed and maybe some people are going to have some major mental health issues from what's going on. And I think they really have yet to raise their ugly heads. Just coming down to this section here. This is a bit of a lookout area here where you can be here and you can sort of check out if you don't trip over what's going on down in the park down there. It's um yeah, you can look out here and not be seen, but you can see what's going on if you know what I mean. I've just noticed something on the tree here. I've got no idea what that is. Looks like some peculiar sort of fungus or mushroom growth. There'll be some tree expert who'll know what this is. Very peculiar looking. There's a smaller one there. So there's a clump of them there around the base of this tree, the trunk. And if I go up nice and slowly and steadily, we'll see what is quite a large one right here. I mean, that's whatever that is, that's the biggest I can see. Well, that was enough of things that I know nothing about. But what I do note here on the ground, and I dare say there have been people through here because it just looks like it's been scuffed up a bit. And like I said, it's a nice place to be, to hide out. You can see what's going on, but really you can't be seen. Okay, I found something very unusual. It's down there. I'll take a close look, but I'm going to have to blur it out. I've decided to completely edit out what I found here on the ground. I did take a closer look at it. I do understand what's going on here. There's a very strange thing that's been going on for about eight years connected to this item. It seems there are some people who are brave, or should I say stupid enough, to talk about this on YouTube, but I'm not going there.
But finding this confirms to me there's some very strange things happening here. And when you see the rest of the video and the other things that I find, it paints a very dark picture. I'll put it back down where it was. Uh, that is associated with some strange activity. I've done some reading up about what's going on with younger people these days. And um, just believe me on that, uh, there's some weird things that go down these days. Let's take a look down here. And just noting here, um, there's a whole tree here. The root system here is given away. It's created like a bit of a, I'll call it a root cave. Okay, one thing I could say is the roots weren't really into that ground there. Maybe that's why that tree's gone over, but it's what's up here that has caught my eye. Uh, this is weird. I'd say it's fairly fresh. It says here, free food and drink, and they've drawn a little Coke there. Nice little illustration there. I noticed there is a can of Diet Coke here. It's still got liquid in there, whether or not it's Coke. Uh, I don't really want to know if it is or isn't. There's also uh, table salt here, but that looks a bit rough nut. It looks like it may have been here for a while. Okay, over there, I can see what looks like an old KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken box of Wonderment. Just down from the KFC, and I will reach in and get this. It looks like some carpet cleaner. Okay, we might want to investigate the propellants in that. That might be why it's down here. Again, without really saying what's going on here, you need to um, do a bit of research online because there's a lot of things I can't talk about these days on YouTube, but there would be a reason why that's here. Let's take a look in here. I'm just going to drag it up away from the edge there because I will go down there because I'm a bit clumsy. And we'll see what comes out of here. Hmm. I'm a little bit... <laughs> okay. Hey, this doesn't look bad at all, and I'll just tip it out, okay? This is this is really a bonus find, wow. So this looks like some apple turnovers from our local Coles, which is about a 10-minute walk away from here. They're called Apple Crown, two packs. There's, there's two in there. So this hasn't been gobbledy gobbledyed up yet. Let's see if there's a date on this that will tell us how fresh or stale this is. I told you it was the 15th of May. It says baked on the 3rd of May. I'm going backwards here. And also best before is it the 4th of May 2020. And I've already told you I'm totally hopeless of maths. So what are these, what, 10 days out of date? They look fresh. That looks like you could host straight into that. And what is also a bit strange is that ants would have found this. Ants are really good at finding something like this, even if it's in a bag, because I am sort of in the middle of wilderness, suburban wilderness that is. Um, that's weird. Um, my spidey sense of the thing to me that this has been dumped here fairly recently. Okay, I'll put that back in there. There's a bit of a close-up of what's written on the bag there. Very unusual. And on the other side, did I show the other side? It's nothing. Yes, okay, what I will do is I'll actually do a bit of a tidy up here. I'll empty out the coke. It looks like it was Diet Coke in that. It's a bit weird. Diet Coke with all that other sugary stuff. And we will do a bit of a tidy up here because then people say, Oh, but Leo, you found the mess and you never tidied up. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I will reach in and get the KFC box Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, funny how they reverted back to Kentucky Fried Chicken because everyone was saying KFC as in Kids Fattening Center. And I think that's why they changed. And what I'll do is I'll actually just hang it on a tree here. I know the council crews come through here and clean up because I've spoken to them. And if I put it here, I'll grab that another day. That was a weird thing to see. It looks a bit too trash down there. There is that bit of an area where I could have fallen down. I can't see much going on down there, so I'll double back. And I will go up one level and then go across to where the little water reservoir area is. Okay, I'm up on a bit of a high level here. Again, I can see that people come through here. You can tell by the tracks that are left on the ground. Some more fallen over trees, which is uh, very typical around here. This here is the other side of that um, one that had pulled up the giant root pad. And I'm just going underneath here to um, come out to what's a really nice it's usually messed up area, but it looks pretty clean for a change. 
Yeah, there's a street up there. It's a little bit like nature's filter here. The water comes down. There's actually a, a pipe there, some graffiti up there as well. It comes down here, goes across that rock there, and then in this area here, and if I walk back nice and slowly without tripping over myself, this area here is like a zone where, well, nature does all the filtering of all the rubbish that's in the water. It's all natural, environmentally friendly, beautiful. Before I take a look at that natural amphitheater seating down there, I will trek up a bit and take a look at the plumbing that feeds this area. Looking very carefully on the ground as always. Okay. I can see something of interest right in the middle of the screen there. Can you see it? Mm, there's a bit of a hole in the ground there. I think this is Sydney Funnel Web area. I don't want to know about them. Uh, it's this thing here. Okay, let's take a look at this. Right. Okay, uh, I won't have to blur this one out. Let's just call it a gas cylinder. Uh, this is related to a teenage problem. Okay. Am I surprised to find one of these here? No, there's lots of these around the railway station up in the bush, around the railway station. Yes, okay, so I'll put that back where I found it. How that little gas cylinder has found its way into quite an unusual zone, well it may have been thrown up from the road there and found its way down here, or, and I think this is the more likely reason why it's been used down in the little amphitheater there and thrown up this way to land right there. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, after a little bit of a climb through there and always looking on the ground, you never know what you're going to see. Okay, I'm up at the area where the water would be jetting out through there and running down to the filter down that way. Well, that's one side of the cement work here. Looks like very old graffiti. There's the pipe there. It's also got some graffiti going on up inside, not very much. And this is the other wall here. It looks like old stuff. I'm looking down as if I'm the pipe pushing water down here. And the council have installed these nets, so any water that comes through here, if there's debris in it, gets caught in the nets. It's actually not a bad idea. And I bet you when they clean out these nets here, they would find all sorts of things which have been pushed through the drains up in the suburb above. It'd be quite interesting to go through what's in these nets when they're full. Yeah, so I dare say those nets would reveal a lot of dark secrets about the suburb. I tell you what, when I was a youngster, I used to love hanging out in stuff like this, like the bush that was connected to suburbia. I would be in it every afternoon, having stacks of fun. Now I'm a bit older, I'm really worried about slipping over, doing an ankle in, or getting into some serious trouble, uh, which is health related, as in breaking bones. Uh, when you're young, you don't worry about that. You just go helter-skelter through areas like this. Okay, back down to the amphitheater area here, which is really a filter. Because we must be educational in this video as we get demonetized. And I can just see on the ground here, something that's caught my eye. Yes, uh, a lot of people would walk past this and not know what this is about. I can't detail what this is connected to, but it's not nice. I'll just say it like that. Uh, I've spoken about cut up pieces of can uh, in the other videos I've done about the area. Okay, uh, am I surprised to see that? No, uh, would most people not know what's going on there? Yes. And I'm sorry, I really do have to speak in code and speak very carefully. Uh, but I am just looking at what's going on. This really is related to rubbish that's dumped around in the peculiar virus time, as I'll call it. I can't really call it anything else or else YouTube gets a bit naughty on me. Okay, I can see a bottle here. Let's take a look at that there. Okay, um, I think this is an energy drink bottle. I can see there's been an attempt to put a hole in it. Okay, so maybe that's talking to you. It's an unusual one, I don't recognize. Oh, okay, there's another hole there. Okay, that should be speaking to you now, I see, okay. Okay, so that gives us an idea of what's going on here. Sort of related back to that piece of aluminium that I just showed as well. Am I surprised by that there? No way, uh, not by what I've seen going on around the suburb. There's a few other little bits and bobs going on down there. Let's take a look. Yes, here's like the overflow area. 
if the filter goes AWOL in a sense and there's a lot of trashed trees and things because of that storm and I can see an old seat here it used to be lots of furniture down here and this might be a leftover from that I feel like I'm going to go uh, over on my face here let's see if I can drag this out to be somewhere more prominent so the council can pick it up because we are hopefully tidying the suburb as we're going or helping to tidy aren't we um, got to do something positive here. I'll put that up the top, okay? Right. There's another piece of foil there. There's a fried up bottle there. I don't want to go down there. It's a bit too sketchy for me. There's something semi-buried here and I will try to take a look at this because I do get curious when I see strange things. Let's pull this out. Okay, if you want to argue what's going on down here, this is an excellent thing that indicates to me there's big problems here. A set of very accurate digital scales and you're thinking what is the box of this doing down here well it's all connected and in a funny way it's connected to everything that I show about what's going on in the suburb during this very very strange virus times that's a really really interesting thing to find so there's the edge of the amphitheatre, just to give you uh, an idea where I am. This is the overflow area and of course I found this packet of digital scales down there. And I dare say if you went through this area here, ratted through, you're going to find lots of things associated with what's going on here. Okay, here's a plastic bag here. Again, I, I would absolutely guarantee this is also associated with what's going on here. In fact, I'm going to keep these because these are great examples to people who are a little bit naive about thinking, oh, oh where we live is fantastic, you know, we haven't got problems here. Wake up, ladies and gentlemen, wake up. Yeah, so the participants, and I'll call them that, will sit on the rock edge here, having a lot of fun. When you're here, no one can see you. And if something does set up to harass you, you've got multiple ways out of the area. Uh, there's the chair that I've made more prominent, so... The council can come and pick this up. Okay, because they do, believe me, they do come through here and clean up. And I see another bottle there. Let's take a look at that. Right, Tio, this looks like it would be a chocolate iced coffee milk thing. Okay. It's been decorated with holes. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's all related. That's all I can say. Now the one thing I was half expecting to find lots of here, and I'm not seeing it, which has perplexed me a little bit, is the beef jerky packets or remnants of. Hmm, that's been a curious thing I haven't found. And just to help out council friends, what I will do is I will put these bottles with the chair. So it's a bit easier for them to tidy up and I'm sure they know what's going on there. And like I said, these for me are absolute keepers. Okay, I'll make my exit nice and carefully out of here, going the other way because there are multiple ways out of here. It is very different with all the trees down. It's much brighter down here. It used to be lovely and covered and recluse and cool in summer. Mind you, we are into the, well, we're getting into winter where I live. It means nothing to my friends who live in other parts of the world. And I will just have to go up this way and I'm probably around that route there. It's funny, I um, did the other video of Brow Heights Mess Hunter in the style, well, the typeface style of that wonderful Netflix show, Mind Hunter, but I don't think anyone quite picked up on what I was doing there. I love the way they use titles in that show, big, bold titles that uh, point out a little township and the place where that town is, and often uh, related to something a little bit sinister going on which is the connection I was hoping to uh, express I'm a bit lower than the filter here and if I was here and water was gushing I dare say I'd see water going down here because it looks like it's been cleared out a fair bit and if I scurried through that dirt there I'd hate to think what I would find it looks like my back out I can see a nerf dart there which well I'm not surprised about I'm just trying to get down to that lower part I know what's going to happen to me. Someone's going to say, oh, there's this weird guy up there lurking around with a black glove on. Looks like Michael Jackson's ghost. And they'll call the cops on me. There's another tree uprooted there. Plenty of that. Just mining my step here. This would be... Yeah, I'm not going to do it now, but it would be a great place to go through. 
and see what's going on because in the end the earth becomes the ultimate filter doesn't it okay I'm just getting down to this zone here hmm yes before I was looking down up there hmm what's that there now the wonders never cease to amaze me down here okay uh, again this is everything is connected to the same thing uh, that there equals trouble believe me I can't explain to you why yes uh, welcome to the suburb where I live I'm actually surprised I haven't found any pairs of scissors thrown about because that's something that the hoodlums can't carry with them although if you're clever you can get away with a nice little story about why you can carry them let's take a look down there well, I can see a uh, plastic container or something up there it's not as bad down here as I thought just widening up a bit that Nerf dart was in that zone there and no a little bit of glass around but I wouldn't be surprised about finding that anywhere no it looks pretty good I've got this thing attacking me go away just tracking along here back to where I found that cut can it's like a it's like a rainforest isn't it it's actually half beautiful if uh, you look in the right direction I really should come down here and do some sort of cheat here I am in the middle of the Amazon video but no it's the uh, middle of the suburb where I live yes uh, virus time has been very very strange uh, sadly there's a lot of tagging graffiti spraying going on around the suburb and that's a bit insidious because if you leave it up for long enough more gets added and then all of a sudden you start not noticing it and that's when your suburb gets totally trashed and that's at the phase where we're at now now I've actually got to get through these fallen trees here to get out which is up through that way okay I'm gonna try and get out of here oh, I'm doing something like I got a friend on YouTube and I can't tell how I know him oh, <laughs> I've just seen something up here my friend a friend called Matt Niven and uh, yes he does things like this to the extreme I've just noticed something right there well this is a very interesting find at the end of this video a couple of Gatorade bottles which have been customed let me say like that and I will move this out of here but I'll have to blur them so you can't see them properly okay with a nice blur across what's there like all I can say is they are customized Gatorade bottles and this really hones into the big problem that's been going on during the virus times I've totally lost count of these customized Gatorade bottles and other styles of bottles that I've found around the suburb it is totally out of control wake up Barara and funny but not funny really I found right next to those naughty things was oh look at this someone's had a nice little um, fun night on the booze nasty well I did make it out of there in the end it's got dark really quickly and it's damp and wet because it's that time of year was I able to lay some dots down? Can you make the connection between the dots and maybe paint a picture between those dots? All you have to do is believe me, everything is connected. There's a lot of things that I can't go into detail about, but just believe me, it's all connected. And I see this going on around the suburb all the time, in particular during what I call the virus times. Unfortunately, a lot of people here are in denial. I'm able to have one victory at the dog park. I had them remove their hose from the area because it was being used for something else but I had to show the explicit pictures for them to wake up to the fact that there was an issue there it's been a really interesting time uh, it's a bit of a sad time as well and it's something that you know I know my suburb like the back of my hand and when I started to see it falling apart in the way that it is I thought to myself wow I'm gonna to have to take some pictures here and start to document what's going on plus also understand all the connections between things and I've got a pretty good eye for seeing things and knowing how they're all connected okay well I better leave this video here and hopefully we learn something about environmental filtration systems that lay in strange parts of the suburb and sometimes around those areas you'll find strange things as well